We don't have enough methionine for lunch. Relax. TL and the weight will be right. RTL? Erythritol. It's like candy for grown-ups. This RTL, it won't make anyone foam at the mouth, will it? Because if it does, we'll be out of biz. Do you have any clue what we're baking here? Propyl methionine makes you trip so hard, even an animal would shit himself. Do you really think a little synth sugar is going to hurt? I don't understand why they take it. Nobody buys it because they like it. Except for the schizos. So, who buys it? The fucking corpse. Who else? <laughs> Was hoping Judy would help me out. Oh, frick. Judy, I know you have a gun. We could have done this. You and me. But we don't have the same kind of rapport like me and Jackie. All I gotta do is wait till they go back to the other side. Have a bite in the meantime. What did so much damage to me earlier anyway? Somebody's gun? An explosive? Everything felt really fast. Oh, yes. Get out of sight. What the hell? Lady, you're messing with me. Oh, you can't really see their face. Jeez, man, that lady. Can we have multiple people in one... That's a freezer! That's a freezer. Pressure alarms, F-circuits. Oh, equipment needed for... The surgeries. Implants. Ready for shipping. Black brain dances. Ready to be shipped out. One C, one C B D. Well, one C, one C, one C B D. One C, one C, one C. Oh, there's so many 1Cs! Holy crap! 1C? 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 Where's BD? There's only three. 1C, 1C... 1C, 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 BD. Turn off. Well, we can... Check it out. It's a different set of cameras, different network. That I can't scan. I can't scan this. These are people in packaging. This guy can... Oh, it's the same guy from a different angle, I think. So there's us. What was that? Yep, yep, Evelyn. We have Evelyn. We've gotta hurry up. Mm, it is the same network, but those people didn't seem like they were here before. Careful, they heard something. There's a camera. Oh no, wrong one. I wanted to... Um... Oh, probably what happened was when I was looking around, I turned the camera to face us. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I got out, it just kept looking at us. It's not even on right now. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, I... if we can, I'd rather put this guy in the dump as well, just to make sure nobody gets discovered. And now we know the packing people are right next door. What about this side? It's really dark here. <sighs> Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Get high at home. These days when the police have so much more to worry about than whether the kids are smoking special cigarettes. When designer drugs can be bought on any corner, we say back to the basics. Why line producers and dealers' pockets when you can make your own concoctions in the comfort of your own garage? In the following chapters, learn how to make drugs. Okay, cool. They're using this kind of a book with the setup they have? Oh my god. What is it? Skeef? S. Keef? Hallucinogen. Experimental mixture. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I don't want to alert everybody right now. But you know what? Let's try it. Sometimes I just want the status quo to be maintained rather than everybody being alerted. But, um, I did that and nobody found out. So either no one's looking where that's happening, or it's not that noticeable. We need to get in the hallway past this room. Do you know how much? Okay. What about them? How much? I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. No, no. I've seen his butt. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? So he should live like one. He's the boss because he can get any pussy to work for dirt. Pussies like you. It used to be that pussies were just pussies. Now we're the ones with our dick in Hey, what if we stopped losing and started winning for once, huh? Go on. You and me load the crates into my old beater and take the high road. That piece of junk? We wouldn't get past the first intersection before they dragged us out and splattered our brains on the pavement. Getting one guy, but not alerting the other one. Distract enemy. We haven't tried it for a while. Break chain. The one day I want a distract enemy, there's just... None around here. Here. Someone's gonna check it out, we can get him, but what about the other person? Huh? They had a female voice. This is so convenient. In the trash you go. Buddy. Eat it, assholes. Looks like you got them all. Oh! Now Delta to the hallway. Nice job, Judy. Why didn't you help me earlier? I thought you wouldn't help me. We get points. We get experience for dumping people into the trash. At least for now, because my stealth level isn't that high. Drug production system. What's over here? Oh, geez, you scared me. Back in the samurai days, we'd place ads in this thing looking for background dancers. Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. You really gonna chat me up while we're doing an important operation here? 
Well, I don't mind right now. Things are still a little bit chill here. For now. What the hell? I didn't even know he was there, and how did he not know I was there? Holy crap! Wait, where is he now? I scanned! It didn't seem like he was... I didn't see a person there. Oh, you freaking scared me, buddy. Oh, he's doing a brain dance thing. I can't grab him from the front, though. I'm kind of scared about reading the computer right in front of him when he's right there. A wicked acid trip, but not the kind you think. Ever wondered what it feels like to fall into a pool of acid? You finally have your chance! Before I ever even got my copy of Kings of Acid, my curiosity had already nosedived. After I found out, it wasn't about that type of acid. And honestly, body horror has such a rich tradition. It's a damn near Herculean task to find a fresh angle to take on it. But holy shit did the devs do it. You play as Arthur Kerr, a klutzy and somewhat awkward rocker boy, who gets himself tangled up in a shitstorm with Maelstrom. The bored goons entrust Kerr with handling a mysterious shipment containing a protozoa capable of instantaneous regeneration, but in an unlucky twist, a painfully common occurrence for our hero. A rival gang ambushes the exchange at a corpse science lab, and Kerr is pushed into a vat of mutagenic acid. That's when the trip kicks in, if you will. The rocker boy begins undergoing constant mutations, eyeballs on stalks, shifting skin, throat tentacles, and that's not even the real freaky stuff. After every victory in battle, Arthur absorbs a genetic code from the blood splatter of his enemies, making the already delightful hack and slash combat even more gratifying. The constantly growing spiral of possible mutations makes for a rewarding way to spend experience points and builds in strong replayability. All in all, Kerr's ultimate motivation is seeking bloody revenge against his music producer, who cost him a lucrative album deal and brutally murdered the rocker boy's boyfriend. Story and gameplay are geniusly intertwined, and the pseudo brain dance implant shipped with each game copy really helps immerse players in the utterly fucked mutations, where searing pain turns to power jacked ecstasy. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. Damn, the game coming with a brain dance implant? How much does it cost then? It's gonna be like a fortune. Is this just an access point? It can be. Uh, BD1C1C. Oh. E9? Sex and Chrome, we'll take it. And we're out of here. Close the blinds if we can. It's not closable. Somehow we did all that without that guy noticing. He's a really great worker. Now what's this side? The door to open to get through? I wish we could get some kind of a night vision mod. Because it does get kind of dark here sometimes. Surveillance, just... Is it gonna be the same same ones again? Yeah, I think so. Okay, just turn it off then. Hmm. What's in here? Yesterday, 
maybe Kim and they heard something. Same as always. Exactly. Daughter and heiress Hanako Arasaka recently arrived in the city. What the hell are you talking about? We charge 500 to get in. I can't get that guy unless if I shoot him. Maybe it's better for us to go another way. This is a dead end anyway, looking at the minimap. I'd like to see the computer, but maybe not like this. But I'll mark you at the minimum. Two live ones there. Crazy shit you can I'll distract him. You take him down. What are you thinking? You've seen this already? Screw with those pipes. Get some smoke going. Too young to go insane. Show's about to start. Find cover. The hell? Now, take him out! How? You didn't really give me an... Okay. Wow, they perfectly walked away from each other. Good job, Judy. Nice. Beautiful. Real water. No, no, no. This safe and sound Night City gangs. We have read this one. Okay, so far so good. What's around this side? And is there any sort of a dumping place I can put these guys? Fuck! Cuffers. Classic. Can't what? go wrong. Except these are solid steel. Not the softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Judy, you scared me earlier. Oh, here's a dump. Okay, might as well. It's like Judy got scared of seeing the dead guy. And I really gotta remember to not look away when I see Johnny. Not until the conversation's done. But that was probably just a shorter thing. Oh my god. I can't imagine they would even bother keeping the people to have implants taken out of them here. This seems too good for me. It's an actual room. Isn't that... I can't imagine that they would even give people actual rooms is what I'm saying. Level to access. How's my weight doing? Okay for now? Yeah, I don't want to, you know, get too heavy again. I don't know why we couldn't comment on seeing Evelyn Parker, though. Because we did see her earlier. And based on that, we should be going straight to that room. I think that's a maintenance room. Let's see what I can stir up. Whoa, the technical ability is 20. What? It closed by itself. Turn off sir. 24 devices. No, it's the same freaking cameras. It's the same. Why do I have to keep turning it off then? I kind of don't get that. Discreet, intimate.
Waiting for you, Judy. I'll have a look outside while you're doing that. Are you actually gonna do anything? Cause I'm... I'm waiting. Oh, maybe she wants to stay here and I'll just keep going. Is that it? I mean, I guess that could work. Alright. Whoa. Are you the only one around here? You know, I wonder if it actually even makes a difference if I kill somebody or leave them fainted. Keep donors sedated. Is there no one else around here? Mmm, this is one of the um, operating rooms. The truth about cyberpsychosis. I think we've read this one. Yes, cyberpsychosis, a byproduct of the modern lifestyle. Usually they place documents around when the thing is relevant. So does this whole thing about how people are taking implants, does it have to do with cyberpsychosis at all? I imagine that one black market brain dance that we saw, if that person is still alive, they would have cyberpsychosis already. That was some PTSD inducing trauma. New girl, from Nadia to Kolya. So, is that girl Dr. Fingers give us gonna be useful for anything? Evelyn. That chick is a bad omen, that's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her, because if word about her spreads, we're fucked. What omen are you talking about? Next thing I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you, my reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're shitting your pants just because of some comatose girl. What do you want, hmm? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage gets even worse. Cause like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig, more like Clouds or even the Mocks. And for the record, I don't touch our supply and you know that. But there's this Corpo. I sold him some of our shit. Apparently it made him aggressive. Smacked some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened, he noticed a shadow of Lizzie on the wall. The girl who started the Mocks. And guess what happened? A week later he was dead. They found him in some back alley, tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was chums with a guy, but still, that's no way to go. That sounds kind of superstitious -y. Who cares how you go if you're dead? Decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen? It makes not one iota of difference. If it's not the RPM, then it's the BDs that are fucking with your head. Because your imagination is starting to get more whack than what we're scrolling. So you don't care how you're remembered? What if you die on the toilet, huh? You fucking gonk, get back to work! Don't you understand nobody care about you? Whose fucking memory will you be in? You will barely fill up any space on my desk. You and your fucking omens. Okay, I don't think I would care about how I'm remembered, but how I die might determine how painful it is. That part I'm a little bit more concerned about. You know, if, if possible, painlessly would be nice. Yeah, so they don't want to mess with the mocks or clouds. Hmm. Ping? See what's around here? People? A lot of people. Evelyn might be extra valuable because they don't even have to install a BD scroller on her. She's already got one equipped. It's not Evelyn, we know. Female. Implants removed. I can't get them. Got 
gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Not the first time we've seen the work of scavs. Which really kind of feels like, you know, hey, even if we did kill them, nobody would miss them. Just like that email says, but for an entirely different reason. Clean needles for P1, donors only. Oh, they don't even get clean needles. They don't even treat anybody like people here. Of course they don't. These are just tools for making money. BDE 9551C. BDE 9551C. Now there's obviously a few guys there, but I can't get them via, uh, through the window. Yeah. Isn't it all the same network? I guess it's not. We have to turn it off at every single station. Okay, I'm a little bit hesitant to open that door. Blade. That was some kind of a um, mod, I think. No, I hate that everyone here is dumber than bricks. Hey, the door is open. Walk out. No one will stop you. Or I could just crack your skull. Shut you up. Who put sand in your nest? No one. I just hear it. Smells like a piece of a rotting corpse. Take a walk to the dogs. Your brain needs air. I hate the dogs too. The whole city is one giant rot pile. On the mini-map, there's like these big circles. Do they mean anything in particular? The people's range of vision? Doesn't seem like it. I think that was the incinerator that we saw before in the cameras, but now we're actually getting to um, see the place, plus people have moved here. Wait, what's that? What does it say? Furnace explosive. Oh, this is... Oh, I really want to do it, but it's going to cause a sh... It, everyone's going to get mad. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I think so. I think so. But let me just check on this again. Yeah, it's a different angle here. Right, right, it's the same place. Some BD gonks. Oh, now the people are here. You know what? Now is probably time for us to check out how hard, hard difficulty is. Let's go. I can't look at this and not do it, okay? It's... Oh, it didn't kill anybody. All it did was... That's so lame! None of them even died. Because uh, I guess the furnace itself detonated, but nobody was in the furnace. Oh, that's so lame. I won't hurt you much. That's lame. All that's happened is that they're looking for me now. That's all. Yoo-hoo! Come out, whatever. 
whatever you want. Well, I was okay with a detonation breaking stealth if they killed somebody, but if we're still in the state, then I'd much rather just continue the stealth. I won't hurt you. Can I just jump on him? Oh my god. Oh, there's one more guy. There's one more guy. I thought this was... It's not on. It's not on. There was one more guy around here than I thought. Yup. I can get this guy, but is it necessary for me to? Because how am I going to deal with everyone else? Dude, I think he died. I saw blood. I saw blood. Just dump him in the corner or something. Oh, I might want to just go over there. That's how I get out of this place. Yeah, if I just walk over instead of going down. But I can't because if I went over there, that guy, this guy probably would see me. I want to distract enemies. Okay, let's try to maybe slowly chip them away one by one. Okay, not this one. This one's too close to the corpse. There's a lot of distractions around here. Shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta do it strategically. I won't hurt you. If I do this one, will that guy far away see? He's not even coming over. He is now. Yoo-hoo! Come out! You are. I'm scared that guy's gonna... <laughs> I breached it, but I'm pretty sure it saw me. What should I do now? Ooh. 1C? I didn't get time to choose the right one. I wanted to turn it off or, you know, control it or something. So I'm pretty sure as soon as I get out of here, it's gonna see me. Hmm... 1C... Where's 55? Damn, the 55s don't align with any other 1Cs to begin with. Whatever. 55... 55 EC, 1E. Yup. Oh! Yeah, it's seen me already. Forget this. Undone by a freaking camera. I don't like this. Are you alive? I thought you were moving a little bit. Scared me. Get yourself together. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, the explosives. That's right. Now we're going in hot. Ah, we could have opened this door if we had the skill, but we didn't. So I feel like I probably don't understand this, the camera system exactly. I understand that if the beam is orange, it means it's trying to detect me, but I thought I turned off all the cameras in the area, but apparently not. Apparently not. Because every time I go to turn off system, it doesn't seem to really turn it off properly. Anyway, we're out of here. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Wait, 
Wait one sec for me. Judy, where are you? Yeah, we can't really re-engage stealth, so these guys just haven't noticed that we're here because they're doing brain dances. All right, I'm here. I'll help. Yeah. Why don't we just murder them? Book collection. So let me test this again. Let me test this again. My gun here has a silence mod, which reduces the damage, but it's quiet. Not that it really matters anymore, but the stealth... Okay, if I try to kill you with that... Okay, this time it's fine, because this guy is not really paying attention. Got a bloody knife. See, that camera... Are you alright? You gonna get me? I guess it's- it's on. Yeah, it was gonna get me. How do I just turn off all the cameras? Do I still have to do it... ...individually? Damn, man. We don't have access. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I don't have any... ...points. I can't go in here. Rich and Aureli. How'd you find me? How do you think? I cut through your firewall like a hot knife through butter. Outdated code gates, prehistoric system architecture. Your firmware's got more holes than a gangbang joy toy. Get to the point. I think Netwatch found my BBS. What? BBS. A place where Netrunners can exchange info without fear of being watched. Like a hacker club? Get it? Oh, I thought that was like an internet forum board. Okay, but what do I have to do with it? Your agency has access to one of them. You can sniff them out. Check if... I'll give you the cords. No, I can't. Please. If they find us, they won't bother with arresting and interrogating. Do you understand? I'm sorry. I already told you. We're through. If you want help, ask Max. Maybe apart from his supposedly huge dick, he's got some useful contacts. Ooh. Maybe they were dating and then this guy got cheated on. But then... The only reason the girl is reaching out is because she wants something from him. Go, Blatt? Blatt is right here. Man, that took a lot of hits. But there's no one here to hear the sound of you screaming. Underground. If no one's around, does your death make a noise? Pretty sure Evelyn's here. No? No, it's the room of the mattress. Get us now. Still standing. It's the room of the mattress. How do I just turn you off? So when I say offline surveillance system and there's 32 devices, it doesn't mean turn all 32 of them off. That's not what this means. I can still see through them. Maybe I just can't turn them off all like that because that would be too good, right? I still have to be aware whenever I'm going into a place about the cameras. Um, E9-1C-1C E9. Oh, but I can't do E9 to begin with. 1C, 1C, E9. I, I can't. No, this room is nothing. It's one of their implant ripping out rooms, probably. That's it. Oh yeah, they heard something all right. Get us now. Judy, do something. Yeah, they came from here. Ooh, damn, man, I'm sorry. 
That kind of feel bad for you, so I'll just throw you. Whoa. Where am I getting seen? I was gonna throw you in the trash can somewhere. Yeah, the cameras. I've gotta navigate to the right option before it detects me. Turn it off. Power's up. Oh, power. I went out to get some fresh air, and the fucking street lamps are flickering like Toad and Tan's strobe lights. Either that girl we scroll the BD with is sending messages in Morse, or that implant of hers is sucking up enough juice to cause a blackout. So install some fucking breakers or something. We're in a fucking power plant. There's gotta be something lying around. Use your imagination. Fit in a current regulator. Fuck. It's like I'm working with children. Jeez, okay, we'll think of something. On a break now, anyway. Ah, they might be choosing an electric plant to hide at, specifically because all this stuff uses a lot of power. So, an electric plant uses a lot of power normally anyway, and that wouldn't be suspicious. Plus, nobody really visits a power plant randomly anyway. We were able to get the generator going, except there's still a little issue with the setup. The light's either on in the bathroom or in the studio. For the life of us, we can't figure out how to have them both on at the same time. <laughs> So then no piss breaks, or else the actor will break character, and we don't have time for that shit. Yeah, of course we won't switch off the equipment in the studio or anything. Oh, don't you fucking dare think of coming up to use mine. You either sort it out, or it's your loss. You can work knee-deep in shit for all I care, as long as the BDs get done. They do a little bit of everything here. What does this button actually do then, if it doesn't turn off the cameras? Hmm. They not only take people's implants, but they scroll BDs. And maybe taking out the implant brutally would be part of making the BD. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. Okay. All right, let's do this. Oh my god. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Oh no. Thank god. Evelyn, you hear me? Oh, forget about asking for now. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. I think this is a little bit too inhumane to say right now. Like, the reason why we're looking for her is because of the heist. But Judy's looking for her because she's worried about her. I'm here now, Ev. I got you. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. I mean, obviously she can't even answer us anyway. Nothing to say? Do you see this often back in your day, too? Oh my god. She's... not responsive. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me. Oh, he wants me to smoke. Ah. Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in?
Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. Good thing it's not up to you. It's not up to you, though, is it? <laughs> Let's go. One of these days, though, it'll be. And that's a scary thought. Where are we right now? She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. Oh, shiz. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I thought you were saying that you would have killed her. As in, she's barely alive and that would be doing a service for her. But are you mad at her? How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. Appreciate it. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. There's multiple? How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. I appreciate that. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Depending on what kind of person she is, she might not appreciate being touched, but she's not responsive right now, right? If she actually recoiled at my touch, that would be a good thing. That means she's responding. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. This is hard to see because when we first saw her, we never got the impression that she was a doll, so I thought she was like this rich lady. And her current status is very far from that image from being a rich, affluent lady. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Well, we tried. Listen, Evelyn, I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Hmm. Well, now, look at you. She does respond. That's good. That's... better than not responding at all. But I hate to think about how many people touched her. And... how many times she had to recoil because of that. Rest, Evelyn. Pain editors and mor She's shaking a little bit. Pain editors and mor mortality rates. The implant widely known as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely elim eliminates pain. 
It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City, the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group that Zeta Tech conducted the following research. The paint editor is a neural coprocessor that inhibits the signal sent from nociceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Note, some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some way similar to the symptoms of hypoesthesia, including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. In this report, I addressed the question of how to better protect Zeta Tech clients from avoidable death while using our pain editors. Yeah, that was my first thought too, because there's a reason why we have pain. There's a reason why if you touch a stove with your hand, you recoil back and say, ow, because it hurts. Because if you keep putting your hand on that, you're gonna get a burn. But if you get an implant, if you have a silver hand like Johnny, then I guess pain, you wouldn't even have pain receptors then. It wouldn't even hurt, ever. Cyberware usage and its side effects. I feel like we've read this one before. Cyberpsychosis, advances in medical science, yada yada yada. Cyberware rejection, we have. Oh. Side effects of cyberware usage. Number one, immune response. Have we read this? No, I don't think so, but basically, this is the important part. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference with the tech's electrical circuits. Number two, psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behaviors, such as gambling. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. Reported cases of permanent blindness after patients attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals to deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.05% chance we could lose our vision forever? or gamble away our future savings at the casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the techno-medical profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. I feel like there could kind of be like a um, peer pressure-ish effect too. If everyone around you has implants, Oh, I don't even have a face. Then you can't really not have an implant because you'll fall behind. Like you can have, you can personally say, I don't want an implant. But if you work a job where everybody else has implants and they're more productive than you, then there's a higher chance that you'll get fired, right? So in that case, you would want to, well, not want to, but you would be forced to also get implants. Thornton. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a Thornton. We are proud to offer our Thornton guarantee for reliability and convenience at an affordable price. It's a car. It's a car. It's a fancy car. It's not this. Is this Judy's house? House might be a bit of a stretch. Oh, we read this one, right? 
Yes. Why be me? Confessions of a brain dance addict. Do you want to be you? Seriously, take a moment to let that question sink in. Do you feel at home in your skin? Do you like your job? Your friends? Your family? When you look in the mirror, do you say to yourself, I'm the luckiest person alive? Then hop in the leather upholstered backseat of your chauffeured Rayfield? Well, I mean, not very many people can say all these things. If you answered yes to any of those questions, put down this book and stop wasting your valuable time. If you answered no to the above, I understand just how you feel. It used to be said, at the turn of the century, that the world belongs to the 1%. Today, one thousandth of a percent is closer to the truth. And your chances of joining this group are even less than that. In this reality, I mean, where you are you? In a brain dance, you can be anyone. A broker who manages a portfolio worth trillions. An elite soldier who blasts his enemies out of existence with a tech shotgun. A suave rocker boy whom the whole world lusts after. Now I ask you again. Of the millions upon millions of people in this world, do you want to be you? The answer for me was always no, and so my story begins. But you always have to unplug though. No matter how long you want to roleplay and pretend you're not the person you are, you have to unplug eventually.